Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Even though we're filming this on Saturday, we're going to be doing Monday mystery a little bit differently than I normally do it. And that is because the story that I'm going to cover today was a request and I couldn't find enough on the story to really create a full video for you guys. So I thought I would bring Stephanie on so we could pull some cards on this area of land. Hello, Stephanie. Thanks for joining me for Monday Mystery. I'm excited. I get to join Monday Mystery. I must I be know. special. <laughs> I know. Usually Monday Mystery is like a fun little thing we can do. And I you know, obviously want to want to recognize all the people that have lost their lives in the past and is kind of a way to explore some things. But before we get into Monday Mystery, I was just telling Stephanie offline because something really pissed me off today. Um, and I'm going to talk about it on camera now because this shit needs to stop. So um, for the past three and a half months, you guys know I've been under heavy, heavy, heavy spiritual attack. Well, the person who's behind all this heavy, heavy spiritual attack, attack who stole my natal chart um, and was using my natal chart to try to spell cast and still continues to spell cast through live shows off of somebody else's channel um, has also been attempting to hack into my YouTube channel to do whatever she wants to do. How do I know this? Because every time it happens, I get an email from YouTube basically or Google telling me that someone has tried to go into my account. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I posted on Twitter so you can see this, what's happening. So I just pinned this. I said to the person in Canada who keeps trying to hack my channel, I know who you are. I get an email every time you try to use my old password that only one other person had telling me the location of the attempt. I changed my password when you entered the scene. It won't work. So I'm going to say this again. I There was an old password that I had for my YouTube channel and only one other person on this whole entire planet had that password. And that is because when I used to do his show, we would simulcast. And he was in charge of that because my ass is really bad at technology. So he was the only one that knew how to do that. Now I'm going to say this. I'm going to make this very, very clear. The person who owns the channel, who was my friend, I still consider him my friend, um, would, I know would never do that to me. I know he would never do that to me. He would never try to shut my channel, channel down or break into my channel without my consent. However, he is in bed with a very, very evil person. I don't even know if this is a person at this point. Um, who has obviously gotten a hold of this information and has been trying to hack into my channel for three and a half months now. I periodically will get a bunch of emails telling me that somebody is using my old password and is trying to hack my channel. Now, the usually if, if you so YouTube knows where my laptop is located. And so even if I go somewhere else and go into my channel, sometimes YouTube will ask me to verify it's me because it doesn't recognize the location. Same thing is happening where this person is in Canada. And so I'm putting this out here. It's not going to work. I know who you are. And I actually have a full file. I have a full file on my laptop of everything you have done to hurt me. Some of it's illegal and I have evidence for it. Now, I haven't done anything with all of this stuff because I don't want to hurt my friend who you have put in a very pernickety position because you're on his channel. Um, but I have all the evidence. And I also have a bunch of uh, evidence of other people you scammed before you entered this scene. You've been doing this for a long time. And I have all that evidence on a file on my laptop. And this shit needs to stop. I know that with your behavior, the chances of you actually moving onto the new timeline with humanity are very slim because this is service to self. This is not service to other. This is not fourth density behavior. This is fourth density or it's, it's fourth density behavior, but it's fourth density, negative behavior, not positive. It's service to self. And I just want to tell you again, and this goes for anybody who thinks it's fun to mess around with people's natal charts is pathetic. The fact that you have to actually use somebody else's life force and somebody else's spiritual identity to manipulate somebody else is effing pathetic. And again, because of all of this, I know why you're using my needle chart. I know exactly why you're using my needle chart. And because of that, I learned who I am. I learned why there's something there that you want. And I do know at some point I will be able to sit down with my friend again and show him everything show him everything you've done. 
I will be able to tell him every, all the attacks that I've, I've gone through. Cause Stephanie, you know, there are things I don't talk about on camera that I've gone through some mm -hmm. brutal attacks, brutal attacks. I've gone through on cam um, off camera that I don't talk about. I want to quickly just say, if you think you're being attacked now, you guys have no idea. You have no idea. Bryce has been through hell. Absolute hell. One day, we'll probably disclose what happened. But in the meantime, I got tenser endings of the fool. Ending of the fool. Yeah. I split my deck in half. So this kind of behavior will not be able to go into a fourth density positive world. And to the person, um, the thing you underestimate is that I am surrounded by people who love me. Mm -hmm. I'm surrounded. I'm getting emotional. Stephanie, in my, my own personal life, I have so many people around me who love me. And I can't say the same about you because it seems that you have to manipulate people into loving you. And that's something I've never had to do, nor will ever do. You got to do a spell to manipulate how a person acts or feels. It's really pathetic. And why would you, how could you live like that? If somebody doesn't want to be with you or somebody doesn't want to like you, let them go. It's not worth manipulating something over. But obviously that person is very service to self. And I will say this, you got to get through me to get the price because I'm going to protect until I'm, I'll do whatever I got to do to protect. Thank you. And all the girls out there, the people out there that are helping me and been helping me heal, um, a special shout out to Mary. A uh, couple of nights ago, I went through one of the worst spiritual attacks I've ever been through. And um, thank you to Mary for putting me back together physically. Mary is an angel in disguise, really. She's been helping so many people. And a lot of people get intimidated by highly spiritual people. But she is purely of the light, and I just want to say that. She gets and some. After I went through that attack, Mary told me that she had sent the lions to guard me and the dragons to guard me. In the last two nights, I, I know they've been here because I've slept peacefully and I haven't been touched. And I'm telling you to the person who's doing this, one day, all your dirty deeds will be brought to light. And the person that you're trying to manipulate will know everything you did. Will know about, about all the blood you caused. Everything physically you did to me will come out. And that is an evil person, an evil person that does that. But the good thing is, is I know my gut was right all along. Even before I had all the evidence I have now, the actual evidence, a file of evidence of shit you've done to me, shit you've done to other people. I have it all. I have it we all. We get emails. We get emails of what's been done to others by this person. Don't we, Bryce? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not, to the point where we almost need to, to, to build a support group. I know how many people you've scam, scammed financially. You've scammed people. I know about all of that. The only shitty thing is, is we're in a different country, so I don't really know what to do with the information. I guess I could send it to the Canadian authorities. I don't know, but I don't want to get my friend in trouble. That's the hard thing is I don't want my friend in trouble because now he's associated with you. But I have it all. I have all the evidence. And thank God, my, I listened to my gut from the very beginning. And you, Stephanie, you picked up on it at the very beginning as well. The moment I saw this thing, that thing, because that's what he, she is, a thing, um, reptile, um, lizard, whatever you, you want to call it, because um, we do know an Adam's apple when we see one. It's going to be a t-shirt one day, guys. Um... The moment I saw this thing, I literally wanted to throw up. I got so nauseous. I could not eat it the, uh, that day. Um, and I, you know, I, I'm getting to learn my own intuition. And I had to uh, divinate and ask God to give me some guidance in this. And when I say God, I mean the divine creator or not. You know, I, I'm very, very skeptical of, about using the word God nowadays because God, Lucifer, thinks that he's God. So, when I, when I say that, I mean, uh, with a capital G, um, and I had to, I had to really go, uh, deep within and, and, and search and make sure that I, my intuition was correct because I had that feeling. Uh, a bunch of other people have gotten the same feeling from talking to them in groups and everything. So, um, yeah, I immediately knew and I immediately called Bryce to warn her 
All right, Bryce, I called you I had the same. I had the same yep. reaction. And then the email started coming in and then the, the warnings that it was my natal chart being used. And then I had confirmation of it just, yeah. And um, to all the people who've reached out to me because they had the same thing done to them by this person and had their lives completely destroyed by this person, my heart goes out to you. And you have a safe place in me. If you need someone to talk to regarding this situation, I am here for you. And I believe you. And I, ha and I have been diligent these last three and a half months, taking up all the evidence I need, just holding on to it for whatever reason I need to, because it is very scary. And this person not only is attacking in the spiritual, but also attacking on the physical too. I know she scammed you. I know she scams people. I understand. I've gotten all of that evidence. I hear you. I validate you. And if you need a shoulder to cry on, you just contact me because this is serious. And I'm going to say this too, if now my friend who owns the channel, I don't watch that show anymore at all. Stephanie knows that I stopped watching it. I, I don't not even subscribe to the channel anymore because when somebody is so, so aggressively attacking you and you have to watch your friend support the person that's attacking you, it's painful. It hurts. I'm going to be honest. It hurts. And so I stopped watching it because I don't need, I don't need that, you know? Um, but if by chance my friend does see this, I do forgive you for doing this to me, for putting me in this position and for betraying me. I, I, I forgive you. Um, and one day I do hope that we can sit down and I can tell you everything that happened, everything, and show you and show you all the evidence. I also want to say too, before we go into Monday mystery, we're not trying to put anybody in fear. I want to make that very clear. Um, we're just trying to put a message out to those people who are um, affecting um, Bryce and affecting me and affecting others who have uh, reached out and helped Bryce. Um, this, you know, when we say these things, it's not for the collective to be nervous or anything about that. It's these things are real. And we really need to also get in touch with the fact that dark things do happen instead of running away from them. We need to face them. Um, so I wanted to put that out there, too, that this isn't to promote fear. This is to uh, have people understand what's happening on uh, Bryce's end, with, on my end, um, on other people's end that are facing this battle. Um, and to kind of uh, open some eyes to, you know, this witchcraft is real. It's very, very real. And whether you serve it for the light or the dark, you know, it's real. Um Things that happen in the quantum are more real that happen in these uh, avatars that we call our bodies in the, the physical realm. Um, so that's to be taken into account. And uh, but, but the thing is, if you're of the light, you're able to face anything. And that's very important to know, too. You, you hold power. And we were not taught that. And um, we're learning just how magical we really, really are. Because we are. We're so strong. And when you're when you have God on your side, regardless of what arrows are flung at you, you can get through anything, regardless. And I'll say, like at the the worst moments, which I think the worst moment I had in this whole battle so far happened a couple of nights ago. It was the absolute worst. Um, all the crap you've brought into my life, strictly because of something in my natal chart, because you want to manipulate and spell cast. All this darkness. I'll say it again. The one thing it's shown me and one thing I'm so freaking grateful for is how many people I have in my life that love me. I didn't realize how I, mean, I knew I had friends, but I didn't realize like how many people really loved me when I started going and Stephanie knows what exactly what happened. Mary knows exactly what happened. Only a few people know exactly what happened because I can't talk about it. It was just so horrific what happened. I feel sorry for anybody that has to use black magic to manipulate because you'll never know what that feels like to truly know that you have people that love you for you. I never, I've never spell casted. My friends are my friends for me and I'm their friends for them. And that's what real love is between people. And I'm so grateful to source to creator that I am on this side of the battle because I am surrounded by love. You try to hurt me and the love of my friends just goes stronger. And I'll, I'll quote prime when he says, laugh now, cry later. Cause when you karmically, I love that. 
I do too. When you karmically break the rules of free will by not getting someone's consent, you might be able to one up someone for a while and brainwash people, manipulate and spell cast them, but it doesn't last forever. And the consequences in the spiritual realm are way more severe than the consequences on the earthly realm. And that's what you're going to have to worry about. Not me. I'm good. I've never done this to anybody else. And what you did to try to make me weaker only made me stronger. All right. With that, being, yes. With that being said, I, I was not planning on talking about the ditch today, but just before we got online, I got another notification that my will. Well, yeah, karma's coming. A karmic, karmic. On the bottom of my deck. Listen, the cards are just tools. But I got to say, I know this one for a fact is going to happen. So what the devil makes for bad, God makes for good. 100%. God is stronger. I mean, the devil's strong. We know that. The devil ain't stupid. But the devil's also arrogant and overplays his hand. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I, I know that you have um, been working heavy magic on my friend. I know that there's been no communication for three and a half months, but um, if my friend up sees this by chance, I forgive you. And I hope you're okay. And I hope that you're not hurt. And I hope you don't get hurt. Um, and I hope that if this person is doing scandalous, shady, illegal stuff through your business, that you are, you become aware of that so that you can protect yourself legally uh, Stephanie, we've also received copies of emails from people who pulled out of his one of his business pages, and the emails that were sent from the business were horrific, were abusive. Emails are being and sent. they sound like a girl, not a man. So the emails that you're, if my friend is watching this, you know who you are. If your business, you need to check that because people are getting horrifically abusive emails from your business. We have those. It, emails. It's a lot of them too. We've gotten a lot of emails from people just going, this is not this person. Like what the hell is happening? Very, very concerned. Um, it's, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Like I was horrified. It, it's and obvious. Know, it's not this person. It's obvious. My friend, the friend that I, again, with the password for my YouTube channel, there was one other person in this whole world that had that password. That was my friend through his channel because we would simulcast and I trusted him. I know if my friend is watching, I know you're not the one hacking into my account. I know that. I know that regardless of whether, whatever spell fog you're under, I know you would never do that to me. I know that. I also know that you would never send these types of emails out to your subscribers or your channel members. I know you would never speak this way to another human being. These emails that are coming from your business are horrific. And so if you are watching, please wake up, wake up, please wake up, check these emails, figure out what's going on because your business could be involved in some really, really illegal shit too, where this person has done this before, has scammed before. So please check this. Because I don't want anything happening to you. I don't want anything happening to any of my friends. So please wake up. Please. All right. I know. And I know. I know you probably don't want to contact me. I get that. It's been like three and a half months. But if you need help, we're here. I will do what I can to help you. Okay. That's what friends are for. Real friends are for. Real friends don't betray other friends. So I will absolutely help you if you need help. All right. So with that being said, again, I wasn't planning on talking about this. We're just going to go straight to the Monday mystery, but then all this shit happened. And I just like, I, I have to, this needs to stop. It has got to stop. And you're not clever. Again, when you get these emails from Google, they tell you, they tell you exactly where someone's trying to sign into your account and they tell you exactly what password they're trying to use. And sweetheart, I changed my password. It's changed. I changed it right when this all started. I changed it. So, um, not going to happen. Not going to work. But anyway, all right. Are we ready to change gears and get into this, this, this mystery? Absolutely. Let's do this. 
Okay, so this came as a request. And speaking of Canada, we're going to be in Canada. So usually on Monday Mystery right now, we've been looking at the uh, Olympic National Park with all the missing people and the fact that the UN is heavily invested in Olympic National Park. But again, this came as a request. And so we're going to hop north of Olympic National Park to Canada. And this is called, now I'm going to go to a website here. Let's see here and just show you guys. This is called... Um, Oh, it's pretty. The Valley of the Headless Men, the secrets of yes. Nahani. Is that Nahani? So um, let's start at the beginning. So I, I, again, I tried to research this just to do a full on Monday mystery, but there was so much like weirdness that I thought we needed to handle this case a little bit differently. So let's start with the begin in the beginning in 1908, brothers Willie and Frank McLeod embarked on a mission into the Nahana Valley in search of gold. They never returned. Now I know a little bit about Willie and Frank McLeod because I researched into them. Willie was a renowned hunter. Um, and so even the natives of the area were very much respected Willie. So these were two boys. Now, again, this was like, you know, we had all the gold rush happening in America, obviously early turn of the century, it was still going on. And so we know that there's a lot of the Northern territory of Canada that is unexplored because frankly, it's really cold. And so I don't know how many people want to go living up there, but, um, but they went in search of gold. And these were again, two guys that could handle it, that could handle the elements. Um, they decided what I found is they were going to travel to Klondike and they were going to go through the Nahani Valley. Well, apparently no one heard anything from these guys for like two years. Now, again, this is the early 1900s. It wasn't like they had cell phones or internet. So you would think two years, no one really went searching for them because it, Again, these kinds of expeditions, you wouldn't expect to hear back from somebody for a while. So many people believe that they had like struck gold. And so no effort again was made to find them. Well, two years later, the bodies of the McLeod brothers were found on the banks of the Nahana River. Their heads, though, were nowhere to be found. The two men were, I can't say that word on YouTube, the M word, decapitated and left on the side of the river for the next party of explorers to find. Nine years later, after the McLeod brothers were found, Martin Jorgensen set off into the Nahani Valley on a quest for gold. Soon after Jorgensen sent out letters claiming he had struck gold, his, his cabin was mysteriously burned to the ground. The remains of his body were found among the ashes. Just as the McLeod brothers, Jorgensen's body was found without a head. In 1945, a miner from Ontario succumbed to the exact same fate. His body was found headless in the sleeping bag. We may never know the truth of these headless tales, but what we do know is that this is only the beginning of many mysterious and haunting stories surrounding the Nahani Valley. The Nahani River flows the Nahani National Park Reserve and the Northwestern Territories in Northern Canada. The Nahani Valley is only accessible by river, plain, or foot. So it's really hard to get to. With deep canyons, hot springs, epic white water, beautiful hiking, and a massive waterfall, the Nahani is one of the most impressive river trips in North America. It is often considered Canada's more remote version of the Grand Canyon. For, for how impressive the Nahani Valley is and how compelling the stories surround it are, I am surprised by how little I have heard about this river. Okay, so I'm going to stop there and let's go a little bit into what we know. So according to the Cassiopeian Forum, the Nahani Valley is a portal. Okay, and so what we know, so I'm going to give you guys some, some stuff that I found. So the Nahani Valley is, again, it's, it's above the 60th parallel. Again, it's only accessible by air and water. It was declared a national park in 1976 and a World Heritage Site in 1978. Now, if you look at all the national parks in the United States and see how many visits they get per year, especially before 2020, some of them you're going to get up into the millions. But only this national park only gets a thousand visitors per year. That's nothing compared to all these other national parks. Okay. Um, let's see here. Now, apparently now we know Northern Canada is very cold, right? Very. Did I have an orb just go by me? You had a big, big one. 
see to that person that's using my natal chart and trying to make my life heal. I got so much protection. You got no idea, girl. Not just physical protection. You not just physical. Protection. I got like Mary Magdalene with me, y'all. Like, like this is here. Like, I got, I got protection. All right. So apparently, even though this is way up in North Canada, within the valley, it is said that it is tropical climates. Right. That's interesting. And that there is actually gold on the floor of this valley. All right. This is what they say. This is the legend. Right. And some people also not only is it a portal, but if you know, on my channel, we did a huge deep dive into Agartha, which is the universe, the hollow earth beneath our earth. And many people believe that this not only is a portal, but an entrance to Agartha. Um, now, uh, uh, the Dene people would often, so this is a tribe, the Dene, I hope I'm saying that right, D-E-N-E, -E, um, they would often speak about strange creatures coming from the valley, like the Sasquatch or other uh, crypto. Maybe that's where I came from, Bryce. I just, I, sorry, I had to throw that in there. I had to throw a funny in there because we have to throw funnies in there. Okay. Birthing out of the Nahani Valley. I mean, when I was reading some of these stories, I was like, oh, hell no, I don't want to go there. Like the Bennington Triangle sounds way more welcoming than the Nahani Valley. <laughs> the Bennington Triangle. I live near the Bennington Triangle. I know, okay. Well way more welcoming. I think I could stand the spare my chances better in the Bennington Triangle in Vermont than the Nahani Valley. Well, there's also this belief that the Naha tribe, N-A-H-A, actually lived in this area, and um, which Naha and Nahani makes sense. And so some of the tribes actually believe that the Naha tribe still lives there, and they're the ones that protect the valley, and they don't let anybody come in, and that's why we have so many decapitated men. Now, that was only a few examples of the yeah. decapitated decapitated men that have been found in this area but from what from my research there's like 44 bodies total since the early 1900s of bodies found with no heads so something's taking their heads off and it's it's Maybe not it's sleepy like, hollow sleepy hollow like oh the real one <laughs> I'm, I'm just like you know entertaining this year because where did that come from right so well this is my thing guys like i know everyone talks about having like past life fears of being drowned or burned at the stake I have a huge fear of decapitation, like huge. Even when I watch historical um, series based on real events, like if you watch the Tudors, but the, you know, he chopped a lot of heads off. I literally have an emotional, visceral response to them reenacting. I can't watch it. A decap, like I cannot watch that. That is it, it, my biggest fear. Squeamish. Yeah. That decapitation is like my biggest fear. Um, so First of all, so let's, can we ask, that's basically all we have uh, regarding the Nahani Valley, besides what the Cassiopeians say, and they say it's a freaking portal. Now, the interesting thing, Stephanie, are you familiar with Skinwalker Ranch? I've heard of it. It's in Utah, and I've done a, I did a big deep dive on Skinwalker maybe over I think I watched ago. it a while ago, but I don't remember everything on that. There's a lot to cover with Skinwalker. Yeah. I wanna, I'm not going to get all into it on this episode, guys. If, if you can look on my playlist and watch the episode or just google it because there's so much information on skinwalker ranch but it was it's definitely a portal as well but it's interesting because it looks like nahani valley is is on the same grid as skinwalker ranch so my first question for the cards is the cassiopeians tell us that it's a portal can we first of all verify that with the cards is nahani valley a portal okay and also i price is my witness i clean my cards and bless them so, so put that out there all right. Is this a portal? So what I'm doing is I've been telling people I let the cards just kind of pop out instead of pulling from the top. I feel like that's more accurate. Let me get one more card. Or two more cards. Ooh, right. spirit wants to tell us stuff. There's definitely gold, definitely gold. That's, that's like, I, that, right off the bat, I got that this is like a gold mine. Uh, I'm not, let's see, is this a portal though? That's the, that's the question. Um, almost like the cards don't necessarily want to tell me. However, I will say this. It's a place that you're going to get probably uh, not good things happen there. 
that's like a fighting card. That's a you're defending yourself type of card. That's that's a fight. Yeah. Okay. So that kind of makes sense with the Cassiopeians what we're saying. And that's interesting yeah. about the gold. Um, so I, I I ran across this theory, this story when I was researching the Palladians. And um, the reason why we're not um, on a gold backed money system is because the Draco, the lizard people, um, with some of the Anunnaki, we know now that the Anunnaki is both good and bad, but with some of the bad Anunnaki created this planet to be kind of like a slave planet and we're hoarding the gold for them. So that's why a lot of these um, nefarious humans, yep. Um, the pentacles is like, that often comes in my spreads as like a Draco or uh, a bad being that is, uh, I mean, the King of Pentacles can be a good person. Don't get me wrong, but. Then what we're talking about, well, gold and silver give off a vibration, right? Like we know that all these things, so it's not just to buy stuff. If you think other, it's, it's a, they, they're harnessing the gold and silver for a particular reason. And that is why the Vatican had so much gold. I think that's probably why there's lots of gold stuck in the Hani Valley and why we have been stripped of that. Um, and I'm going to say this right now. I'm not buying this whole, like, you know, you got to buy gold and silver now, because in my opinion, when the new financial system comes in, regardless of what it's called, we're all going to have what we need. And any type of, if you're feeling any fear or insecurity about buying gold or silver, that's associated with the matrix. That's associated with the federal reserve. Listen, I know bartering too. Yeah. Price. Like, you know, I don't want, and I don't fight either. That. Yeah, I don't want people to worry about that. That's the old system, the matrix and the haves and the have nots. And I'm going to tell you right now for everybody who went through hell and back during lockdown and you lost your business and your finances were completely destroyed. Like, I feel you. I understand that. And so I don't want you to feel any type of panic about not being able to buy gold or silver because you are valuable. And this new financial system is going to is going to is going to be enough for everybody. Okay. That's what this is talking about. So this was next. This was my clarifying card next to the gold. So it's like uh, six of wands is victory. So I feel like I feel like possibly, you know, White Hats probably did remove some of the gold that was being hoarded there um, to distribute. I mean, in, in conjunction with the gold under the the place in Rome that starts with a V. I don't even know if we can say that on YouTube, but and also uh, Buckingham. Yeah. And all, all that, you know, so, um, yeah. China. So I, yeah, I don't want anybody to like, that breaks my heart when I hear people like freaking out because they don't have enough money to buy silver, or buy gold right now. I don't, don't worry. Please don't worry. I really want to, to, uh, I don't I want, don't be in a fear state about that. Okay. That's, that's the old system. That's, that's the old system The have and the have not this whole talking of generational wealth. Listen, listen, I come from a society where there was generational wealth. It is not what it's cracked up to be. You know how many my friends I grew up with committed um, the S word because of stress? Let me tell you about old money. Old money expects the next generation to make even more money. There's a, there's a, a it's generational wealth is not, first of all, there's, I don't think there's going to be any such thing as it after the new timeline, because we're not going to be in competition with each other. We're going to be working together harmoniously. And so I don't want people to be stuck in that. Uh, what did Sean Stone call it? It was brilliant. The predator state that you have to be a predator. Okay. I, I really want to express that on my channel. Like, please don't stress. Please don't. That's not what your life is for is to stress about these things. I, I believe that we're, it's all going to be okay. Okay. We're not going to be under the federal reserve yeah. anymore. I'm glad you brought that up too, Bryce. But before I go into why I'm glad I did another clarifying card, I did get an ace. So it is a portal. Answer the question. And it's the Ace of Cups, everybody. Let's go back to the last episode. Baby gravy. Remember... <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyways, oh, another Ace on the bottom. Um, so I'm glad you brought that up. So at the beginning of my journey being red-pilled and all that kind of stuff, I used to follow somebody specifically, a channel. Won't name names. It's still, I mean, it's a, it's a decent channel. It's, it's just I had to kind of – it's it's – more toward the fundamentalist side. So I kind of had to break free of that for obvious reasons. Um, and that they always talked about the uh, RV and everything like that, which if you have, if you're sitting on a pile of Zim and the dinar and all that kind of stuff, fine. But 
I kept getting that God, God kept telling me it's okay. I couldn't afford to buy any because I was sick. I, I was out of work. I, I got very, very ill, which a lot of uh, the subscribers know about already. But um, so I, we were just on one income at the time. And so um, anyways, I was all panicky because I'm like, well, I, I, I want to be able to buy some Zim notes or something like that. Cause I, I have humanitarian projects I would like to do. And God kept telling me, no, you don't need that. You don't need that. I'm going to give you what you deserve in, you know, it's how you treat people. It's what's in your heart. God will give you what you need. God will never make you go without. Right. And if you think you're without, you're really not. Are you breathing? Yes. Are you able to eat a meal to some degree? Yes. Okay. Those are things to be happy. That, that's abundance to me. Mm -hmm. Not everybody has that. Yeah. We need to yeah. stop thinking we need mansions and yachts. And yeah. I mean, all, all I want is my palm tree, which by the way, everybody, that's my new palm tree, courtesy of Bryce. I had to bring that up. Isn't it pretty? I told David Zublik. Palm tree. <laughs> I, I told David Zublik, um, I am definitely using this as my Christmas tree next year because I don't want the triangle tree anymore. <laughs> yeah. I know. I told Sydney. I, I don't know why. I, just, I told Stephanie that I was sending her a palm tree, and you and you were like, I thought it was gonna be like a little desk one. I don't know. Like, tree. Tree. Like, oh, I get this giant box on my doorstep that says Miss Step Shap, and, and I'm like. Well, I know that's from Bryce, but what the hell is in this thing? I open it up and it's like literally a floor pond tree. I'm like, <laughs> no, she did not. Yes, yeah, she I'm did. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing ever. Oh my God. I love it so, so much. And that's I like, what friends are for. <laughs> I took a picture and I, I, I put my beach chair next to it. Like I'm at the beach. Yeah. All I need is a wave machine now, you know, making the waves um, this, the sound of the ocean kind of, uh, noises, but yeah, this was, this was my, this was my present this week. So Stephanie's so. got her palm tree now, guys. She's One day I'll be in tree. Florida. One day. When you move to Florida, you better take that palm tree with you. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, I am. That's going to go in my living room. That's going to go in my living room. That's my, that's my Christmas tree. Listen. to make all like, the other palm trees jealous. <laughs> I'm going to get a tropical tree skirt. I'm going to put that around it. I'm going to put the ornaments on this thing. Absolutely. That this, this is great. That's amazing. I'm sure there are palm trees in the Honey Valley. Seeing what, Oh, let's ask that. Speaking of tropic, okay. is it tropical in the valley? All right. It's the valley. What, what is it called again? What kind the of valley? Honey? I hope I'm saying that right. In the, the Honey, Honey valley. valley tropical. That's interesting. Just to show you that the earth is not what we think. Not at all, we think. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, my cards are probably making a ton of noise. That's, I'm actually looking at them, see if I can find a map right now so we can see exactly how far up the Nahani Valley actually is. Um, if it will show us. Oh, yeah. It says super high up, guys, from what it. Um, yeah, I'm curious on a map where it is. Let's see here. So Nahani Valley. Right here. Look, guys. Can you see that? Oh, right wow. Here. That is high up. Super high up. So from what we understand about the world, it should not be. Here's a better. You can kind of see right there. I mean, we know like Alaska is super weird, too, with weird occurrences and it's either I'm having a hard time channeling today or the cards just don't want to say crap. Um, I feel like this is a very touchy topic. Oh, well, let's ask the disc then to the cards. Will the cards tell us if it doesn't want us to know? And will it tell us why it doesn't want us to know? Like, is it for our protection? We can ask. So I'll just, I'll share what I got regarding the question. I do feel like it does have different seasons with that card. I, I am picking up. It does. It there is seasonal stuff. Um, I feel like actually, I feel like there's been a fight and confusion over this whole thing. Like this is like, I mean, these are the two most bizarre cards out of the deck. Like this is confusion. This is fighting. I feel like it's almost like it's saying. Yeah, the the uh, powers that be did not want us to know anything regarding this particular place. 
Um, so it's like been hidden. Um, <coughs> you have the queen of uh, swords, which brings clarity and truth to things. So I feel like this might be saying there is some truth in that. And we will uh, find out eventually. And uh, the powers that be, I feel like this is actually saying that the powers that held that particular area in power, it's changing. Wheel of Fortune. So I'm going to have to say that I almost want to say, yes, it is tropical because I feel like this is all, they want everything hidden. Yeah. They want everything hidden. And that the, the queen of, I feel like with the queen of swords, where the heck did I put it here? The queen of swords is saying there is truth to it. Cause that the queen of swords is very truthful and honest. Yeah. Yeah. So it I looks mean, like kind of like Bennington, like these portals have been monop monopolized by the dark players and now they're being taken over by the good ones. Cause a portal is just, a, it's just a doorway. That's all it is. It's not good or bad. It just is what it is. It depends on who is, who is controlling it. Right. So this is at the bottom, the ace of swords as I drop everything. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, also let's ask, are there different crypto creatures? coming out of the, the Nahani Valley monsters are there, is this a, a, an entrance way to a lot of um, Sasquatch uh, Bigfoot. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, it's from Michigan um, that come in, in and out of the, that portal. I just had a really bad joke that came in my head about Sasquatch. I'll shut up though. Tell it oh, okay, so guys. If you're okay for the men out there who are French Canadian, I love you, so please do not take offense to this, but you have to understand I was a medical assistant, and I did EKGs every day. Guess where, who were the hairiest grizzly bears of all the men that came in? It was the French Canadians. So, there might be some genetic ties to sca Sasquatch. Let's just be real. Just, you know, just, you know. They're going to hate me now. That, we're going to get such horrific you know what? comments. It's called waxing. It's fine. It's fine. If we got to shave our legs every day, then <laughs> men can do the same. <laughs> I used to. So when I did their EKGs, Bryce. And <laughs> okay. I had a sense of humor, obviously. We all know who I am now in this. Um, so when I had to do their EKGs, I, I, you know, some nurses and MAs, they might shave the area where you put the little stickers on the chest or the arms or whatever. You know, I just figured it out. Okay. It's called an alcohol pad. You just stick that sucker on. But I would say to them, I apologize. You guys have seen the 40 year old virgin, right? I was thinking about Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> so I said, <laughs> so I said, well, you might, I, I might be making a man a lantern out of you. Just FYI. <laughs> Please don't hate me. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. Not Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Listen, it's it's just it's just I mean, I shave I literally shave my legs every single day. If I can do that, same. men can do the same with their same. if they want to, if they want to, you know. I can't let the pricklies. Neither. I don't I don't like it in the sheets. Feels mm -mm. like when I skin the sheets at night, it's all prickly. It's Never mind. My mind went bad. <laughs> why, why does this always happen when I do shows with you, Bryce? You're a bad influence. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. As a former Mysore teacher, I still teach once a week, but as a former Mysore teacher, I would wear spandex literally every single day. Let me tell you, you need to freaking shave your legs if you're wearing spandex every single day. Like, I'm sorry, hygienically, like, you need to be shaved because. Ew. Like that's gross. So everything comes off and it still does, even though I, I only teach once a, once a week now, but um, well, that's your daily routine. Mm -hmm. And it makes me feel clean and it makes, and I do it. Yeah. I mean, I, I do it. I joke about the spandex, but I do it mostly for myself because it makes me feel clean. Like I wash my hair every day because I don't like the smell, the, the dirty hair smell. And I feel better if I'm yeah. clean. You know? I'm like OCD. I have to take two showers a day a lot especially in the summertime you are like well it does not dry out your skin it's like no i i just cannot like i just can't i shower yeah. before i work out and then i shower after now <laughs> yep i know i'm strange but at least at least I we all know good. that at least i smell good all the time because i got a victory in that okay so 
Don't hate me. I smell good all the time, guys, because I clean myself. Pretty, so pretty roses. <laughs> My hair smells like flowers. <laughs> so, all right. So let's ask about the Sasquatch coming out of. Are there crypto? Are they, are they called? Is it cryptozoology? Is that what it's called for these uh, let's say are weird crypto? creatures coming out of this valley? All right. Are weird creatures coming out of this valley? Hmm. Ooh, I got the moon card. They don't want us to know. It's secrets. Oh, my <gasps> God. Yeah, even the cards are like, hush already, would you? They don't want Hold us on. knowing, do they? The spirits are like. There's something. Everybody knowing I came out of there. No, I'm just joking. Um, I mean, there's seriously something going on up there. If they're being like, yeah, I can't know this. Yeah. So maybe we should respect um, and not, not ask about the, the creature. I'll just go into what I have so far. Okay, so I'll just say I'll just share with you what I'm intuitively getting. Um, yeah, you're being blocked 100 percent That's a blockage card. Um, but it there's definitely an abundance of something coming out of there again. I feel like, oh, I just got a download. Whatever creatures are in there are thriving off the vibrational frequency of the gold. And this is like, yeah. stop it, stop it. Don't ask anymore. I'm telling you guys, this is why they hoarded gold is because of its vibrational frequency, not because of actual, the way we see it as money. Yeah. The, uh, this, I feel like whatever is in there might be related to the lives lost. That's a loss of. And uh, yeah, they don't, want, they don't want us to know anything. So I have a question now. We know about the crystal grid. We know that there's like crystal underneath our earth and that's going to reemerge over time. We know there are pyramids underneath our earth that are going to reemerge um, as our earth also transcends. <laughs> if you guys haven't found that out by now, sorry to be the one to spoil that for you, but there's a crystal grid under us. And we, we know that Atlantis, they use the energy off of the crystals to supply energy. So here, so if, if they're going to return the gold back to the people of the earth, us, is that going to shift the vibrational awareness of humans because it's going to be returned and not kept apart? Will all that gold shift us energetically, spiritually? They say we have 97% junk DNA. I think we all know that's bullshit. It's not junk. Will it activate part of that DNA? Yep, absolutely. Especially, okay, first of all, this is like the past and the present, the hangman. So this is without distribution, right? Um, a lot of us are in this vibrational funk. That's what this is saying. And I'm getting an ace, which is an automatic yes. Going to do something with the divine feminine, though. I will well, go tell us. Into well, let me clear. Let me clear. Let me <laughs> classify. I don't know why I was about to say class classified. <laughs> Classified evidence, okay? <laughs> Classified, we're going to talk about the it. Bottom. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, can we clarify the Empress card? Card wants to jump out at us. Oh, a couple want to jump out at us. Okay. I think there's a reason why we're doing this show. Why do you think of gold and silver and timelines? Okay, so okay, so net tomorrow's video on the Magdalene, I've already filmed it and I talk about this, what we've discovered about the gold and silver of the uh, Lyran group. And everybody knows that everybody's pointed out, even before I understood what that meant, I know I have a golden hue. I get that. Like people were telling me that like a year ago that my, my skin was literally changing color on camera. Well, now I know I'm Lyran and that I'm the, I carry the gold aura. Stephanie's also Lyran, but she ca carries silver. See, you got silver. I look super, super silver. And it's even if I were to turn off my light, I, I do have a silver hue and you have a gold hue. And Stephanie's ring gold. Exactly. I, and I've said, and when people used to say that to me, they're like, oh, it's just the ring light. But you've seen me without the ring light on. Yeah. 
and I still have a gold, a gold hue. It's changing. Like my, and I like went back and watched um, some old videos where I wasn't as gold. And, and we know, so the silver and gold, we know the gold carries the element of Kundalini, but that is not necessary. It doesn't mean that people who are silver don't carry Kundalini. It just means like that's kind of their superpower. Whereas silver carries. Timeline merging. Timeline. Timeline. Time. So father time is like a legit thing. It's the silver based Lyran group. Is, is like, it, I, I don't, I, that's as far as we really understand guys. Cause when we find this stuff out. It's like, I'm so confused. The more I learn, the less I know, but yeah, it's about the energetic awakening through gold, which makes sense with the element of gold being vibrationally. And then the silver comes in and moves and shifts the time. And we know that we're in like, right now we're in space time, but then we're moving to time space or vice, vice versa. I, I don't know. That's weird to me. Like, I don't really understand that, but we know it's that just a seven of cups. It's a, it's just a shit show. Yeah. But it's going to be a, it's going to be a, it's all going to converge into what it needs to be, what God ordained it to be. Yeah. And I'll say this too. So, and speaking of gold, so my teacher in, um, in India uses this as an example, and he's talking about sweat when he talks about this, like why you have to sweat in the yoga practice. But I'm going to use this at actually metaphorically for what's going on in our world right now. So in order for there to be change, there has to be heat put on the gold, right? You have to boil the gold in order to clean it, to change it. And once it starts to boil all the impurities, the toxins, the bad stuff, floats to the top once it floats to the top you can wipe the impurities away to get to make the gold pure that's not just true for our physical body when we sweat and exercise and then we can wipe our our toxins our my teacher calls it your poisons which i love saying that better your poisons away but in society right now like what's happening the heat is on society and so humanity is having to come to this like boil right and so the darkness is rising to the top so it can be no, noticed and seen and then removed. I mean, hello, look at we st how we started this video. It's uh, We're able to spot now the evil ones, right? We're able to spot it now to be able to then understand it. And so, but during that time of, of resistance and change, it, it does get confusing. There, are, It is confusing. And so that, that makes sense. That's where we are right now. We're in that, the detoxing stage as humanity in order to bring us to a more pure state of, of spiritual being. So in the bottom of my deck, silver and gold. <laughs> we'll leave that one up to people to determine. Well, I kind of talked about it in tomorrow's episode about bringing them together vibrationally. In a very or you could just way. go view me and David Zublik last week. I talked about it. I put, I put some truth bombs out there. Yeah. Probably gonna get in trouble one day, but you know, I'm a rebel. So let's ask then. Um, I'll back off a little bit of Nahani Valley because obviously they don't want us talking too much about this, and I will respect that. Um, let's ask about Skinwalker Ranch. Is Nahani Valley connected to Skinwalker Ranch? Good question. Yeah, I was definitely feeling the energy there, where it's like e. Careful yeah, I want to respect say. that. If they don't want to, yeah. if the powers that they are saying not now, I, it, when you when you do divination, you have to be very in touch with how energy feels. So I'm not just reading off of cards or even just using my intuition necessarily. I'm using my intuition fully, yes, but I'm also feeling the energy. And if an energy is like, eh, be very very careful. You can feel that energy shift, and or yes. Uh, had a reading with me and something exciting comes on i get so like excited for the person because i feel that energy coming through like literally i could cry i can laugh with you um you know so all right skinwalker ranch this have anything to do with nahani valley i need to clarify a couple of cards okay go figure again i'm just like okay um Intuitively, I'm going to say absolutely connected. I'm not getting in necessarily in the cards, but I'm getting in here that they are. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing the, the quantum realm. So definitely a portal. I mean, it's absolutely a portal. And I think that has something to do with fire because I have the tower and the ace of wands. Interesting. 
Okay. So well, I, I, I'm almost getting that there's a potential opening to maybe what we would consider call hell. That's in, that's kind of something I'm 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 thinking of here, um, and it's the downloads I am getting right now. I don't even know if we can even put up there. Okay, bear with me. You can take this away, or you don't have to. I'm just I'm gonna just say what I'm getting. Okay. To those who do dark, dirty deeds and black covens, it's the place for them. Good. I got the three of I got the three of pentacles upside down. Fire or the ace of because wands are fire. And when I'm I'm thinking of this as like if we look at the tower right here, it's like crumbling, crumbling of something um with fire. It's like that fire and brimstone type of thing. And it's like, yeah, people who collaborate to do bad because this is upside down. And uh, I want to clarify more. I mean, you can do what you want with this, but it is, I'm thinking it's not only a portal, it's a portal to get rid of bad things. It can't stay on this planet because we know with the law of one going into fourth density positive, Anybody that's doing spell work that takes away somebody else's free will um, can't stay because that's service to self, not service to others. You absolutely can't stay. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm getting um, eight of cups. So that's going somewhere. It's either going from dark to light or going light to dark. So it's like um, the for beings who have to walk away and step away. Probably this is probably going to be utilized in this time frame. Um, but however, I'm not 100% accurate this, with this only because I have a high priestess card. So it's very secretive. Yeah. And then we, we do have an ending there. So this is like, a, I feel like it's actually going to be closed off once it's utilized at its fullest. Again, I could be, this is just speculation. I'm just reading the cards for what I'm getting yeah. downloads on. Take it resonates I, with you guys. Exactly. It's like Monday mystery. It's still a mystery. We're just trying to put our heads together and would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below as well. Um, and I'm going to say, let's respect it and leave it at that. Because if yeah. the spiritual world is telling us like, hold on um, again, this is not an effing movie guys. This is a war. Yeah. One time I'll say that W A R. This is not a movie. Don't rest on your laurels. There are things they can't tell us because they're actively working for us, right? You, yeah. can't, you can't put all your military secrets out there. And so I'm going to respect that and say, okay, we'll, we'll end it there. But I would like to hear your um, thoughts again down in the comment section below. What do you think? Have you been, like if any, anybody watching, have you ever been to Nahani Valley? Are you from Canada? Do you know these stories? Like, let us know if you know some more stories down in the comment section. Our Skinwalker Ranch, anybody <laughs> watching from the United States or who've been to the United States and been to Utah and, and seen the Skinwalker Ranch. But before we sign off, I want to put a challenge out there to you guys. Um, again, to try to bring us back to what we're moving into. And this is the fourth density positive. So this was a sign I saw a picture of and I put it up on Twitter. And it says, I love you. You're probably thinking you don't even know me, but if people can hate for no reason, I can love. And oh, so I love gonna, that. I know I'm going to put a challenge out there. Now where I live in the city, I can't do this because I don't have a front yard. That's solely mine. So I, and I, I talked to somebody on Twitter about this and I asked their permission because it was their, mostly their idea. Um, I'm going to put a, a, uh, challenge out there for everybody watching to make one of these signs because we can tell this is a homemade sign and put it in your front yard all over the world in your own that language. That is awesome. I love that idea. All right. For me, I, I might put it in my car, even though I only really drive my car like once a week. <laughs> but, um, but in uh, your back windshield. Yeah. Back windshield. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to put a challenge out there for people to do this. Now, if you do this, will you send me a picture of your sign if you want to you can either be in it or not and once we collect all of the pictures i want to put a reel together of everyone's pictures from all over the world of this Great. sign now i think i'm going to make a new email address specifically for this project which i will put in the description box below i don't know what that is yet i got to see what's available from gmail but i'll make an email just for this project 
for you guys to send in the your pictures. Um, and you can do it as, a, like I said, a, 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 just a picture of your sign. Or if you want to be in the picture, you could be in the picture. If you want to make a little video and say hello. Again, it doesn't have to be in English. I'm putting this out to all of our viewers around the world, whatever country you're in, whatever language you speak as your mother tongue, German, French, Spanish, Japanese, Chinese, whatever language, you can write the sign in that language. and. Um, yeah, send it to me and we'll put a big reel up of all the signs from around the world of telling the cabal we're basically going to start loving each other and not hating each other. So can I pull cards in there real quick, Bryce. Yeah. All right. I, um, I'm going to use a different deck for this particular one because I feel led to. And whoever created this sign originally, I don't know who this person is. Thank you. I, I want to give credit to you. If by chance you're watching this channel, let me know, because um, I would love to give credit to you for, for creating this sign. Oh, wow, Bryce, this is huge. Okay. Um, it's definitely going to um, awaken some people and help people to wake up. And um, create light in the darkness for those who do not have it and bring us out of troubled waters. Let's do it, guys. Let's uh, let's save the world together, guys. We are the storm. Where we go when we go all, we are all just walking each other home. So please, 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 guys, make your sign, put it in your art, take a little picture. I'll put the new email address specifically for this project down in the description box below. Please send me that. Only send emails regarding this picture project to that email though, because my email gets slammed. And so I just need to be able to pull the pictures off. Um, tell me where the sign is from in the world so I can put it in the, you don't have to show your face if you don't want to, you don't have to give your name if you don't want to, but just tell me where the, where, what country you're in, at least not even town, but country. So I can put it in the text above and, um, and let's do it. Let's do it. Should we give a deadline? Should we say, so Monday is, let's see, let me look at my calendar here. Maybe do a week. Bryce? Yeah, let's do a week. So today is the day that this is airing is Monday the 14th. So let's carry it off to the 21st of Monday or the 21st of March, which is a Monday. 21st of so, Monday. <laughs> 21st, that's how long a week has been, guys. 21st of Monday, um, which is actually for us here in the Northern Hemisphere. That's the day after the first day of spring. So the 14th through the 21st, you have a week, guys, to make the sign, put it up. Get your kids to help you. They'll have fun with that and put it in your yard. Or if you're like me and you live in a city, city put it in your window and um, car window or your apartment window. And um, let's see what we can do. Let's see what magic we can make together. And if we need to extend it a week and people are having problems, if, if you guys think a week is not long enough, let me know in the description or in the comment section below and I'll extend it another week. But let's try to get it in by the 21st of March. Let's get it up because we know March comes in like a lion and out like a lamb. So let's try to get this video put together by the end of March. So. Springtime is rebirthing and springtime is new life. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, start the new birth of the new age with a bang. Yep. With a bang. With that ace of cups. <laughs> Not with that <laughs> kind of bang. Okay. It's the ace of cups. It's the baby Listen, gravy. Guys, we are terrible influences with one another. Like Girls are way worse than boys. They're way worse yeah, than I boys. Think, I think they get that at this point, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well again let us know all your thoughts down in the comment section below thank you for joining me Steffi, for this monday Min mystery i have so much fun. fun we'll have to do more monday mysteries together. i know right that was fun that was a lot of fun let us know how you <laughs> like it guys normally i do monday mystery as a storytelling but because there was so now we know why there's so little information right they don't want us to know certain things so um that's why i brought stephanie on because i was literally had like five minutes worth of information to give so thank you so much, Stephanie. Um, if you guys want to tip Stephanie, I'll put her Venmo down in the description box below. I'm also going to put her website down in the description box below in case you want a full on reading with her about your own. There is added for the most part. Her info is there. Her prices are not um, there yet. But uh, I think, um, yeah, I'll be adding that in the next 24 hours. I've just been really busy with a lot of other stuff going on too, and which Bryce knows about. But um, it will be in there. Um, so when I do add it, it will be in the services tab. Her information is on the homepage along with my um, contact information. We book all by um, email, which is all down yeah. on, the, on the homepage of that website, okay? And a special, again, thank you to Mary, guys. A couple of days ago, as I said, I was so beaten up from the, what happened to me that night that I could hardly sit down. 
Um, and Mary literally put me back together again. And so thank you so much, Mary, for doing that for me. And thank you, Stephanie, for just being such a warrior for me and to all the people out there who aren't on YouTube that have been light workers for me and have been really helping me battle this, this darkness, this demon. Um, I'm not alone. And I, 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 that is one of the most beautiful things that have come out of this situation. Um, being betrayed by one friend to only be shown how many more friends I have that really love me. And I love you guys too. And this is the world we're walking into where we, we love each other and we help each other. And we are where we go one, we go all, you know, and what's the three musketeers all for one and one for all. That's the world we're, we're walking into because it's service to others. And how amazing is that? Truly, truly amazing. So it'll be a, unbelievable to be able to walk into that new timeline with all of you so thank you so much thank you stephanie and also stephanie's Welcome. channel down in the description box below too guys so make sure you go sub subscribe to her channel as well all right thank you bye guys bye